I have here with me today the HP Pavilion 15 Sleek Book. It's a new Windows 8 laptop release from HP. It uses an Intel Core i3 or i5 low voltage processor. Uh, and it's kind of like a budget oriented laptop as well. So pricing should be around the five, six, seven hundred dollar mark, depending on what your configuration is. Um, so we're just gonna take a look at the design first of all. And as you can see with this model, it's got a dark black case. Um, Charcoal gray is the official color. There's also a red color option as well. The finish is glossy, so uh, it's kind of like a plastic case here that's uh, maybe not the best quality since it's not aluminum and uh, it's uh, not quite as uh, high premium as some of the Envy models, but still feels fairly solid. Um, you can push on the back of the lid and cause some ripples in the screen, so uh, you know you might want to take care. And you can see there, there's some flex to the lid. So again, this is a budget laptop. It's kind of typical of what you get there. So let's just kind of look at the glossy color lid. There you see it, and it's reflecting the light off the ceiling, so that you can see that that's glossy. On the underside, <clears throat> you see the vents are here. The battery is actually removable, so you can take it out just by flipping this latch and pulling the battery out. It's kind of a nice feature since many sleep books are actually sealed and you can't do that. So um, as you open it back up, Windows 8 screen comes up. So um, we'll just kind of take a tour around this laptop and uh, give you some thoughts on what we think of it. One of the real selling points of the Pavilion 15 Sleep Book is the fact that it's very light for a 15 inch notebook. So let's wait in here just to see how light it is. Now if I put it on my handy dandy kitchen scales here, it's going to weigh at 4 pounds, it's around 10 ounces. So that's under 5 pounds for a 15 inch laptop, which is excellent. And especially since this is budget oriented, you're not going to be spending thousands of dollars for a light laptop. So, uh, you know, it's almost down to the four and a half pound mark, not quite. But, um, you know, the small size battery certainly helps. And, uh, but, you know, overall, the, the fact that it's four pounds, nine ounces, you really can't sniff at. So if you wanted a 15 inch laptop with a you know, nice size keyboard and number pad built in for under five pounds in weight, this, this could be a good option for you. One nice thing about the Pavilion 15 is the fact that the keyboard on it is full size and you get a number pad built in as well. It's a chiclet style keyboard, so you get the island style keys that are nicely separated. Um, no accidental striking of keys. And the top row function keys actually act as media buttons, so like the F9 and the F10 are volume down, volume up. And that's kind of nice. Um, as far as feel of the keyboard, uh, it's a little clunky to be honest. It's the key travel is very short. You get some flex here in the middle of the keyboard um, And the number pad not so much flex, but overall there's more flex than I'd like to see and the key travel is pretty shallow. So uh, You know pretty average laptop keyboard Most people that aren't picky won't care But if you're really picky about keyboards, you might be a little disappointed with this pavilion 15 sleep book keyboard Let's take a look at the Pavilion 15 Sleekbook screen quality. So uh, I have up here just a default background for Windows 8. Um, you're looking at it straight on right now. Now if I tilt back this 15 inch screen, this 1366 by 768 resolution, you'll see that the colors quickly kind of invert and darken. Right now I have it tilted back as far as it will go, so it will not go back 180 degrees. Now if I tilt it back forward, you'll see that again, the colors will tend to wash out as you tilt it forward. So really the sweet spot for viewing this screen is straight on. This is not an IPS screen that's typical of any other laptop and uh, the brightness is decent uh, but again it's pretty much so an average screen and there's not a whole lot to say about it then other than it's, it's fine and uh, it's kind of a standard type laptop screen. Let's take a tour around the ports you get on the Pavilion 15 Sleek Book. So here on the left hand side you have a USB 2.0 port and you have a dual headphone microphone jack. Rotating around there's nothing on the front side. And notice how thin this, this laptop is. For a 15 inch it's very thin. Uh, on the right hand side we've got a media card reader so such as SD cards you can put in there. You get two USB 3.0 ports. And then we have an HDMI port, and then we have an Ethernet port here. And you have to kind of pull down this little hinge to get in the Ethernet jack. Not quite enough space, so they have to do that. 
and then just the power jack and then on the back there's nothing um, there's actually just the battery that's located on the back here so you can see the battery runs all along the back side it's fairly small you can pop it out which is kind of nice for a sleep book since not all of them offer that feature As far as performance goes, this particular model in the Windows Experience Index scores a 5.3. Uh, you'll notice that it's got an Intel Core i3 ultra low voltage processor from the Sandy Bridge family. So you've got Intel HD Graphics 3000 on board. So uh, its weak spot is the graphics. Uh, you have uh, a 400, well, it's a 540 gigabyte hard drive. And then you have a, or excuse me, 500 gigabyte hard drive. And then you have uh, 60, uh, excuse me, four gigabytes of RAM. And then uh, gaming graphics here says uh, a gigabyte of memory available. But uh, again, it's it's integrated, so that's really not going to help you a whole lot since you you've got integrated graphics. Um, performance is going to be dependent upon the processor you have, but it'll certainly be enough to do some multitasking and watch HD video and kind of all the typical things a user would do, but it's not going to be enough performance to say like gaming or high-end 3D work. So overall, I think I have some mixed feelings about the Pavilion 15 sleep book. Uh, I like the fact that it's so light at under five pounds for a five, 15 inch notebook. Um, I like the fact that it's got a built in number pad, it's a very spacious keyboard, but having said that, the keyboard feel isn't so great. There's some flex there, there's a lot of plastic in here. I don't like all the glossy finishes, you can see it's reflecting the lights off the ceiling. Uh, overall, it's a little cheap feeling because of the build quality, as I mentioned earlier, you can see some ripples in the screen if I push on the back there. Um, but you kind of expect that with the budget laptop and depending on the price you can get for this, um, you know, if it's around the five, six hundred dollar mark, it could be worth it. But uh, I wouldn't pay more than seven hundred dollars for this particular laptop, to be honest. Um, but, um, you know, I do think it's a nice Windows 8 laptop. I wish it had like a touchscreen option and uh, I wish the touchpad were a little better because it's not... It's not as, it doesn't seem to have all the built-in Windows 8 uh, gestures like uh, you would expect. So, you know, that could be something that's uh, just bit this particular uh, machine has uh, uh, problems with. But, you know, overall, this is an okay laptop, but uh, nothing terribly exciting. And uh, for certain people, it might fit your needs, but for others, you might be a little disappointed with the build quality that you get.